thing and you just don't want to give uh sacrifice your body like jesus christ sacrifice and of course they always will use uh, the bible as an instrument to convince us to do it uh, and they always in the same time they want um us to feel to twist our mind to feel that this kind of uh, service it's a very big privilege so we uh, uh will be willing to do it with our uh, with our will so he will say that uh there because nobody can deny that there is a pastoral ministry even uh mr kibolo himself and everybody knows that only girls and young and beautiful women are uh, included there and everybody knows nobody can deny even the full-time uh, workers that uh, we all live separate from any others under the same roof uh, our uh, rooms are next to him so he have free access to every room to uh, like uh, to each room and uh, nobody uh, can um, uh, uh, nobody knows his life behind the door. That's mm -hmm. why no, there's mm, no full-time wo workers that know what is happening there. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you uh, try to, uh, like for example, there was uh, um, uh, several times that I tried to deny uh, this uh, ministry of sleeping with him. Mm, uh, because we have a schedule like uh, and he will be the one to put the schedule who will be the one tonight and uh, jack roy it, in my time it was her ministry to uh, invite girls to pastor's room uh, and actually to invite the girls to this uh, ministry to pull them in in his room uh, and uh, Miss Yulia, you told us something very important. You said that nobody can deny that there was such a thing as a pastoral ministry. Uh, you said you told us that twice. And uh, you said that if you refused to give those kinds of service, that sexual service, uh, as you tried to do uh, several times, that you would be punished. Uh, including yeah. through psychological instruments. Yes, you yeah. said that they yeah. they uh, could uh, try to uh, twist your mind. Uh, what kind of psychological punishments and what other kinds of punishments did they impose on you if you tried to deny this kind of sexual service? Uh, like, as I said, there was a schedule. And there was one time I tried to deny because... Uh, <laughs> one day he's he said that i will change my room so i will not be the one to call you who will be the one tonight to uh, to uh, present yourself to me uh, but uh, i want you to be voluntarily to come to the jack and uh, to uh, put yourself in the list and me and some other ukrainian girls whom i know uh we like said like uh, we never uh go and put our names uh, uh, in the schedule and then uh because he said uh, uh, mr kibolo said that i want to see those who are really doing that willingly and who is not and uh, me and some other girls have a separate room mm. in pastoral ministry and after uh, he waited one week two weeks or about one month i remember i don't remember exactly but there is such a time that nobody from us uh, asked to uh, do this ministry and then he started to come by himself like for example he had the key of each room and just in the middle of the night he come to my room and uh, have uh, sex with me then uh, uh and you cannot uh you cannot run away you cannot say i don't want because if you say you i don't want he said you didn't overcome your flesh and uh, if you will not obey you will go to hell like things like that 
Bye. And...